There's no citizen of this Commonwealth more in need of support than a child in a difficult and potentially dangerous situation. Six months of intense scrutiny of existing policies, six months of working to build consensus with frontline social workers and others, and six months of investing millions so that DCF can start to build the resources they need to get better at their mission is creating progress. We will listen, continue to work to improve policies, and find ways to strengthen the system so that children's needs can come first and we can act to keep kids safe. We've increased the number of licensed social workers to 91 percent. We've posted 332 positions for social workers, supervisors, and other staff. And as the governor said, we've had a net increase of 170 FTEs. And we've launched the technology upgrades to support policy implementation. Changing policies and shifting practices that have been in place for 20 years or more is not easy. Together, we're shifting from a culture of blaming social workers to one of learning together. And we acknowledge that this is a work in progress. Child welfare will always be a work in progress. Recently completed is a new family assessment and action planning policy. That policy streamlines casework so that parental capacities and risk factors affecting child safety are regularly reviewed, recorded, and discussed with service providers and parents. We have, for the first time in the history of the department, an in-home case practice policy that was completed this month. That policy outlines requirements for home visits and contacts with others, such as doctors, family therapists, and others serving the family. Like the new intake policy, there are new requirements for management review of cases to be sure that safety and services are on target. It's important that we recognize how far we've come at the Department of Children and Families in just a few short years. The Commonwealth has invested millions of dollars in frontline hires, bringing a net of more than 300 staff since the start of the crisis in two and a half years ago. Policy reforms we've pushed for for years are finally becoming a reality, and attrition rates have begun to slow for the first time in recent memory. We have a lot to be proud of. The work we've done so far is vital to the long-term health of the agency. But the systemic challenges we confront together are more than three decades in the making, and our efforts to date are just, are just the tip of the iceberg. I want to thank Peter McKinnon and his leadership team for the efforts that they continue to make and the imagination and the creativity and the determination and the perseverance they bring to getting this right. But we're investing in, and I believe we are building, with the help of many others, a department that can keep kids safe and makes keeping kids safe its highest priority.